hello everybody and welcome back to my channel it's your girl melinda j and i'm here to talk about the netflix debacle when it comes to password sharing so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it go ahead and share my screen right quick right quick all right this is coming from yahoo finance and this was uh, posted as of Tuesday, February 7th. So it was literally two days ago. Okay. And it reads, Netflix says it updated, updated their new password sharing policies that had users melting down. Okay, let's go ahead and read it. It says Netflix and chill out password sharers. After intense backlash surrounding what appeared to be the first signs of the company's upcoming password sharing crackdown, Netflix clarified no official announcements have been made outside the current test countries. For a brief time last Tuesday, held a Help Center article containing information that is only applicable <clears throat> applicable to Chile, Costa Rica, Peru, went live in other countries. We have since updated, a Netflix spokesperson told Yahoo Finance. Last week's updates appeared to show the company would require users to identify a primary location, a primary location for all accounts that live within the same household. News which had users suggesting this would be a bridge too far and threatened to lead the platform as a result. Users would then need to sign in to home Wi-Fi of the primary location at least once every 31 days to ensure their device is not blocked. Temporary codes would uh, need to be used for traveling members which would only remain valid for seven consecutive days. Netflix said it would use information such as IP addresses, uh, device IDs, and account activity to determine whether a device signed into an account is connected to the primary location. In a recent survey, investment firm Jeffries highlighted concerns surrounding the company's crackdown on password sharing, particularly among the account freeloader uh, Netflix hopes to convert. <coughs> According to lead analyst Andrew, I'm not going to pronounce his last name because I don't like to butcher people's names, about 62% of the 380 Netflix password borrowers say, survey said they will stop using Netflix once the crackdown takes effect. Only 10% of those polled said they would move to create their own account for uh, $9.99 a month, hinting password borrowers don't see enough value in the platform. The survey also suggests competitors would greatly benefit from Netflix crackdown. Uh, some 35% of respondents says they can replace Netflix with other with another service, while another 31% added they don't enjoy the content enough to set or justify paying for it. When asked which platform users would be more frequently if they eliminated Netflix, the top streaming alternatives include Amazon Prime Video for at 42%, Hulu at 35% and Disney at 20 uh, Disney Plus at 26%. And of course, here's a chart here to discuss if Netflix stopped or well, from the poll that um, um, Jeffries has used uh, in case if Netflix stops you from using someone else's account, which action are you going to most likely take? And then, of course, there's 10% create your own account. 12% subscribing to um, share was well, subscribe to Netflix with ads with $6.99 per month or upgrade the account using the um, include your household at 16% and a unanimous uh, a unanimous vote 
on 62% is stopping, stop using Netflix. So that should tell you right there, Netflix, that you're going down the wrong road, wrong road. All right. Furthermore, down the article, it says in its quarterly letter to shareholders published last month, Netflix said it would um, be intensifying its push to combat password sharing in quarter one. Although the streamer did not provide details on when exactly that would occur and what countries would be impacted, later in Q1, we expect to start rolling out page sharing more broadly. Today's widespread account sharing 100 million households undermines our long-term ability to invest in and improve Netflix as well as build our business, the company wrote. Netflix password crackdown coupled with its recent launch ad supporter tier had been looked at as a meaningful profitable drivers, especially as competition within the streaming space escalates. As always, our North Stars remain pleasing our members and building even greater profitability over time. Well, y'all kind of like, y'all y'all are reaching the end at this at this time if y'all going to crack down with this password um sharing which i get but it kind of like defeats the purpose of the tweet that y'all originally put out about a couple years back like sharing sharing is caring so um furthermore down in the article it reads netflix reported subscriber net additions of 7.6 66 million in quarter four <clears throat> above company guidance for 4.5 million amid a slew of high profile and record breaking content releases, including Glass Onion, Troll, um, All Quiet on the Western Front, My Name is Vendetta, and Wednesday. And of course, this is the image of uh, from the series Wednesday. I have not viewed it yet because I. You know, it's just so much going on uh, on other platforms, i.e. Um, or IG, um, for example, YouTube. There's a whole lot of shenanigans doing, going on on YouTube and Twitter and Insta Instagram. So it's just like, um, yeah, continue on. The bottom line is there is a massive amount of password sharing, particularly among affluent people, Jason. Head of Internet Research at Oppenheimer uh, told Oppenheimer. Hmm. OK, um, this is the same Oppenheimer from. Um, from uh, what is it? Um, shoot, what's that real estate show on Netflix? Selling Sunset. There you go. I, uh, yeah. Oppenheimer. OK, told. <laughs> Yahoo Finance Live in an interview on Monday. We do think a good chunk of Netflix subscribers would probably pay more to keep certain members of their uh, household or let's say their children who no longer live with them on their plan, he continued. Um, Hefstein, who described the crackdown as a net positive in the long term, added Netflix would not be doing this if they thought they would end up in a worse revenue situation. This is a company that historically has prided itself on customer service above all, uh, um, Jason said. The real, uh, reality is people have taken advantage of it. Sharing your uh, Netflix account with 20 other people is probably not the company had in mind. But if people are reasonable and share this with five, six people in their family, I think it's going to work out. End quote. All right. With additional reporting, that concludes that article. Now, there was something else that came up. And this was as 19 hours ago. And it says here, Netflix rolls out password sharing crackdown in more countries, including Canada and Spain. So now they um, extended it to Spain and Canada as well. Okay, this is the same article. It's just been updated as of 19 hours ago. So um, what do I think? What do y'all think about this? With the Netflix password sharing, what do y'all think? Because... 
Um, sharing the password with 20 people. Okay, yeah, I get it. You definitely, you're definitely losing some revenue whenever you're sharing your password with 20 people um, at a time. However, for the people who, like myself, um, pay Netflix and I don't I don't um, share my password it's just people within my uh, my nuclear family unit unit okay and another thing is folks we're gonna have to stop uh, telling our business on the internet for as like oh I need to go ahead and uh, find my friends so uh, they can share me their passwords so I can watch this show because I mean they're watching not only they're watching uh, what you put on social media but also tracking the IP addresses and see uh, what is which and all the other nonsense but um, when it comes to Netflix cracking down on password I get it but the content is not matching the price for one thing um Netflix I think I pay like 20 some dollars on Netflix and that's with using before they crack down with this password um is for multi multiple devices being used because uh two screens is not gonna get it all right um then at the same time as years pr progresses um the price of course goes up we can expect that the price going up but if the content is not matching the price that you're offering the audience then it's like redundant at this at this point uh, at this because it seems like as the price goes up especially on netflix's end it seems like that when the price goes up a big star a big entertainer is making a whole docu series or a whole or a, um, a TV show on there um, because they want to have creative control, which I respect. You want to have um, some sort of creative control that you wouldn't get from a an established uh, uh, um, production company or cable network per se. So that I can see that going up because let's be honest the price didn't start going up on netflix until beyonce had that homecoming um that homecoming uh, uh um docu docu series um on netflix that's when the price started going up then um and i'm pretty sure you know with her work ethic and with um her producing content of course the the price has to match the agreement so what do netflix do they go up on the price just so they can be able to get compensated on the content that is being put out for the audience to consume so they can be able to pay the folks it's not only the star but also the production folks and then of course netflix they get they cut and all the other yin yang but um again I get it. You're trying to crack down the password when there's one person sharing the password with 20 people. Okay, that's just that. It's not everybody though. Everybody there there are families that are out there that you have one person that's playing for this platform, you have another person playing for for that platform, you have another person paying for that platform and um and when you have to keep going to that person or the primary location to get um, a hold of the the password and then go another 30 days to try to reset it so you won't get blocked. I mean, so at this point, you have to carry your TV. <laughs> so do you have to carry your TV, right? I'm just being funny because, um, of course, there's plenty of ways to access the account besides carrying your TV all the way down to the primary location, get it activated, and carry it right on back to your um, household to come to find out more likely it is not going to work because... <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy, yo. 
Um, but again, you have family members that are off to college and there's no form of entertainment while they're in college. So what do they lean to? They lean to YouTube, um, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, ESPN, uh, Discovery Plus, Primary, uh, not Primary, uh, Paramount Plus, also um, HBO Max, Stars. Uh, Cinemax, uh, let's see, Tubi, Peacock, Sling, all those, uh, all those other streaming platforms. So, um, like I was explaining to my folks, I'm like, seems like we got to move back into one household again, so we can be able, so this won't be an issue because that's how it originally started, um, with us being on under one household and we were able to watch whatever we want to watch but if you're going outside of the primary location and now you gotta you got and and it's not on your device and then all of a sudden your seven days run out now you gotta sit on the phone and call customer service and be like this is me trying to log in and nine times out of ten a lot of people are trying to avoid calling customer service so they can get access to their account. It's it's like toe to toe with trying to um, with Apple. You it, it seems like you always have to change your password every thirty days because all your devices have been logged out or whatever the case may be. And um, from what I got from that was that uh, once you change the password on one, you need to log in on the rest of your devices so they can all operate under one password. Cause if not, then one is not gonna recognize the other. And that's another headache in itself. So all this, um, so all I'm trying to say is is netflix y'all started with Redbox, which caused um blockbuster to go out of business y'all gonna be next on the chopping block if y'all keep doing all this nonsense um that is really not necessary and i get y'all trying to make profits and y'all trying to match the content with the pro- uh, profits but um i'm gonna tell you now and i'm pretty sure you heard it from everybody else like the content Every every now and then, y'all will have good con uh, good content like another good documentary that that I can review, or um, a good series that I can watch and review and all that and uh, carry on. But if it's going to continue to be like this, um, I'm gonna end up canceling you guys and going to another platform, probably like Peacock, um, at, probably adding Peacock or adding uh, Paramount Plus or Discovery Plus, whatever the case may be, because um, let's call it thing a thing, Disney Plus is whooping your butt, okay? Why? Because they have Hulu and they have ESPN bundle, okay? They got Hulu and the ESPN bundle. And then with the Hulu, uh, if you have a Hulu account, you can add services to it like um, HBO Max, Showtime, and all the other, um how, how all the other uh premium there we go all the other premium platforms available and i'm just gonna carry on my, my business because again it's not like i go to your platform every day to consume content i don't it's like when uh the only time i really just be on your platform for a long period of time is when there's a good docu series on there or a good uh, drama series on there or um there's nothing else to watch and and it, I'm just going to try to see what I can find on Netflix to watch. So, um yeah, Netflix <laughs> All I have to say is Y'all about to be another blockbuster, okay? I'm just gonna call it like it is. Y'all are about to be a block, uh, another blockbuster. The company that y'all put out of business because of Redbox, and y'all started with Redbox. So, 
keep that in mind. All right. I know y'all trying to make the shareholders happy and y'all pockets happy as well. But at the end of the day, it's what the consumer um, likes and wants to watch. And if the price is not matching the content to where they're able to stay and stay on the platform for a long periodically time, then the jig is up. Yeah, everybody's just gonna go cold turkey and they'll just go to another platform that offers um best, if not more, for a bang for a buck. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Okay. But leave your thoughts down in the comment section below of what you all think about the password sharing crackdown. Um, are they being reasonable about it just based off of the information that I provided um, to you all in regards to more explanation on the password sharing? Um, because, yeah, I don't share my password like that. I don't share my password like that. It's only just with my family. And within my family unit is about five people. Okay. It's five people. So with that being said, be sure to uh, leave your comments down below in the comment section. Um, also subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already hit that notification bell. So, you know, the next time I upload a video and always remember to love thyself, know thyself, soothe thyself so you can heal thyself and see ya.